Hello, Gemini. That's too much. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of June 29th through July 6, 2020. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I'm closing off with my with the Foundation Tarot by Jonathan Sates. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Gemini? Gemini, 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 what's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got the secret card here. So I do feel like some kind of secrets are getting ready to come out or they already have come out, okay? Mm, I do feel like these secrets going to hurt somebody's feelings. All right, so we got the endurance card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody feels like they just cannot move on with a situation, okay? I'm only going to re read these once it's flipped upside down, okay? So, oh, goodness. All right, so it looked like somebody, I don't know why the, uh, dang it, I think it's Enrico Iglesias. I think I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but just one night, I think that's who sung that, but that's the song that I am hearing. So I do feel like somebody may have done something and they only one night. And I feel like this was outside of a relationship and they does not feeling right about this situation. Somebody thought that they was going to be able to move forward or get over and not be sad or, or, uh, care about it. But I do feel like this stuck on somebody's mind. Okay, somebody stuck on it stuck on somebody's mind. It was one night outside of the relationship. Okay, oh goodness. So it looked like somebody might have had a one night stand. Yep. So we got the telepathy card here. This card to me represents uh grown up activity. Okay, so I do feel like somebody feels like they can't move forward with a situation because of some kind of grown up activity that took place outside of the main relationship. Okay. Oh, goodness. Somebody thought they can do it, but they can't. Yes, yeah, so I do feel like whatever this is, somebody is feeling real bad and guilty about what they've done, okay? Uh, somebody thought that they was just going to go, they was going to have fun, and go home, and it, like it's never happened, okay? But I do feel like I'm seeing the scene replay, replay, replay. And I do feel like even though somebody went is going through a lot in their relationship, they regret what they did. They did not think they were, or they were going to regret it. They did not think they were, I'm going to just say you to make it easier. You didn't think you was going to regret it. So we got the timeout card reversed here. So I do feel like it's crazy because whatever this uh, relationship is, whether it be a marriage or engagement or just the normal relationship i do feel like somebody on again off again on again off again but this time that it was off somebody decided they wanted to yeah have some fun even though they knew they'd be back together okay somebody thought that they was like okay they was gonna be able to roll with the oh we're not together so you know it's not cheating, but I do feel like somebody is no, they know it's cheating and it's starting to eat at them. Okay. You know, it's cheating. Mm, mm, mm. So I do feel like you got family and friends that's trying to make you feel better about the situation. Um, I do feel like somebody is almost in a full blown emotional breakdown because of what they've done. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe that I felt like that I was going to be able to get over this. I can't believe that I knew that I was going to go back. Somebody just beating the heck out of themselves about the situation. And then somebody got the friends or family members this like trying to let them know like, okay, you did what you did. You know, it's, it's, it's bad, but not as bad as you making it. You know, if this person would stop trying to separate from you or y'all stop breaking up, you wouldn't feel like the need to do this. Okay. You wouldn't feel like you need to do this. You have to do this. All right, so we got the crane bag here. Dang. Okay. So this makes me feel like some of you guys like, well, I get over this. Nope. 
you won't get over this and it just showed me that um i don't know if this came out in this card these cards already but it showed me the uh the secret cards, the caution secret cards. I think that did come out in the beginning. That's the only way to actually get over this feeling of what you've done is to say what you've done. Okay. Or when it comes out, then you won't feel bad about it because you don't have this huge secret that's burning a hole in your heart. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh. All it takes is one time. So, I mean, I do feel like this car, it could be mean two things, but the first thing that came to me, somebody then got pregnant or got somebody on the outside pregnant with one time. All it takes is one time, okay? Um, and this also makes me feel like this could be and or, or. Um, somebody could have possibly got pregnant by the person on the outside with the one night thing, or somebody is starting a relationship with that person on the onside uh, on the outside and possibly a pregnancy is coming okay or just some kind of a uh, new relationship that somebody real really wants okay so it looked like somebody is starting an affair that they want to be more a part of than they want to be in their um previous relationship or their current relationship okay oh goodness Oh, goodness. Yeah, this will definitely bother bother anybody. All right, let's see what's going on with the, the Fountain Tarot. Jonathan says, what's going on for the Gemini? What's going on for the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got the justice card here. Oh, goodness. So this makes me feel like somebody may have went out and did this because this is what their partner was doing. Like every time y'all break up, this person is going and they'd be going on dates and stuff or they'd be going to actually deal with people on these breaks, okay? And I do feel like, okay, this time it's just like you ain't going to be the only one, okay? So I do feel like somebody else, the other person, went out and got somebody else this time. But they started actually liking this person on the outside, okay? And uh, the person on the first person that just keep making these excuses to cheat, they just go do it just to cheat for that one thing. They uh, this is they they game, cheat for this one time and then come home. But it seemed like you did the cheating and you started fell in love with this person, okay? And you want a life and you want something new and beautiful with this person. It's not just. I want to just play with you every once in a while. It's just, I'm feeling like I'm in love with this person. Okay. Mm. And this, the justice card here, let me go back to this. This also makes me feel like uh, this person that keeps leaving to go deal with people and coming back is about to get what they deserve because you didn't left and now you don't want to come back. And this is exactly what this person who keep cheating, finding reasons to argue and fight and leave is what they deserve okay to leave you did you did it now i did it but this person actually want me and is good enough to have me okay all right so we got the ten of swords reversed here but i do feel like even though that's what happened somebody still feel bad about what happened so we got the ten of swords reversed here so i do feel like um some kind of betrayal some kind of uh, deceit heartache i do feel like somebody is just smudged all the way okay it's just like for me, me doing what I did, I forgive you for everything that you did, but a piece of me don't want to be with you. Give me that. Bring me that. Give me, give me that. Sorry. I didn't tell y'all Sasha was out. Good girl. Oh my God. She's such a good girl. Even though she was going to eat it if I didn't see her. Thank you, mama. Oh, now my hands is wet. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right, so we got the moon card reversed here, so it definitely is getting ready to come out, especially if somebody got one bacon in the oven. But it's like somebody wants to be with this person on the outside more anyway, okay? 
So we got the Wheel of Fortune reversed here. So I do feel like as long as somebody is in this current situation, these re extra marital or um, outside of relationship, they're not going to work. Okay, this is not going to work. The center relationship ain't going to work if you guys are both working on outside people. Okay, but I do feel like as long as y'all in this relationship, you guys are going to be going outside, both of y'all. It's just like, uh, okay, you want to break up now? All right. <laughs> like, it's fine. You know, I go be with this person. Why you go be with them? All right, so we got the Six of Swords reversed. So I do feel like it's going to cause a lot of chaos, of course, okay? And I do feel like in the end, somebody's going to end up moving out. But it's crazy. I feel like it's the person that just started um, cheating is going to move out. And it's crazy because I feel like they're going to move in with this other person. That's what I'm seeing, okay? They're going to move in with this other person. Yep, look at it, the chariot. Somebody getting ready to move, and they moving fast, okay? And it's like, okay, the secret's out. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. It's like, you've been playing me and cheating on me for 10 months, 10 years, 20 years, and now, guess what? This time, I'm just not going to let it happen. I'm about to go get somebody else, too. All right, will the fortune reverse? One card, please, for the Gemini. Oh, that one didn't even want to flip over. So, I'm just flip it over like this because it looked like it wanted to flip upside down. So, we got the temperance card. I do feel like somebody was trying to be patient. Somebody's still trying to be a little bit patient, but I do feel like this patience is getting ready to turn to anger. It's going to be a lot of chaos, okay? So, dang. Whew. This is one of those situations I feel like the sooner it's over, the better, because the longer y'all in this situation, the most, the more angry and emotional and uh, physical things are going to get. I do feel like this might end up coming to blows if you guys don't separate. Okay? Not for two weeks or three weeks. Okay? Not for three months. Of, if anything, years. Okay? So, we got the King of Swords reversed here. So, I do feel like somebody was analyzing the situation to get what they want. Okay, this is that manipulation to get you to leave or get you to feel like uh, or, or break up with you so they can do what they want to do. And then, in the end, it's just like, oh, you want to break up? Okay. And y'all both doing what y'all want to do. So, it's ending up manipulation to, to get what you want. Okay. All right. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.